Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. For today's video, we're going to be talking about color filtering. So if you're curious about filtering versus color correcting, this video is a must watch. But before we get any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Teresa, spelled T-E-R-I-S-S-A. And I love all things beauty, skin, and makeup, which I share with you here. I do also have an anti-aging channel, so if you're interested in anti-aging, I'll link that channel here. And this is why we're here today, but I'm here today sharing my beauty finds and tips for over 40. Sometimes I'll do more casual lifestyle videos, but if this sounds like the type of content you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It'll help the algorithm push to more people. Thank you for doing that. Also, don't forget to support me over on Instagram and TikTok, link down here. And as always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Now let's jump into this topic. So I'm going to show you color filtering today because you can see these beautiful bruises that I have that are very saturated with color. So these are perfect to show you color filtering. So before you ask, I'm fine. These are self-inflicted. I'm gonna insert some footage here. I was creating a video for my anti-aging channel. And now we're going to be color correcting because uh this so all right in a future video i'm going to show you color correction versus color filtering but for today we're going to be color filtering with my saint demi so these are uh color filters these are pure pigments each one of these is 22 dollars. but how this works is by neutralizing excess color in the skin these are great for filtering distractions on your face and it allows you to go makeup free if you'd prefer that or you can pair it with makeup like I'm going to do today here. So this is all about color theory and it can be tricky because the color you think you're seeing is probably not correct. The colors you're most likely to see on your face are violet, which is dark plus vibrant. Rosacea is typically violet. Blue is anything dark and green is muddiness that looks like brown in the skin. So that's green. So we have to think about the depth as well. These are medium. So I'm going to use the three in the collection. Don't worry, I can help you pick your colors. So I'm gonna just kind of go over basic color theory with you. Right here, I have my color wheel. So if you're looking at your face, and like I say, this is very tricky because we tend to get this wrong. You're gonna see like a lot of yellow in this bruise right here, but if I add purple to it, it actually doesn't filter it out. It actually just adds purple. So if you're seeing the color of the product, you are it's the wrong color. So I do still see some violet, but I'm also starting to see blue. So it's just, it's very funny, but if you're trying to conceal blue, you're gonna use a peach color because if you look straight across from blue, you're getting into orange. If you're trying to conceal violet, you're getting into yellow. If you're trying to conceal green, you're getting into red. So it's just basic color theory. I have this printed out. I keep it in my vanity to refer to, especially for these videos. So as far as these pigments, it just looks like a bunch of colors to you, right? So actually how this works is this color right here is RO3 and red, it means red, orange, three. That's what it stands for. This is RO1, red, orange, one. So, and it's these, the three and the one are for the depths of the distraction. This is O1, so this is orange one. So this is gonna filter blue. These R's are gonna filter green, blue. This is O3, which is gonna filter blue. This is Y01, yellow, orange, one. So this is gonna filter violet. Um, these are just some um, neutrals that I picked up to try to contour my nose, so don't so don't pay any attention to those. And then this is R1, so red is opposite of green, so red is going to filter green. I do have a few in the other side of my palette. I mostly use these for for eyeshadow, so I got this for I think just to kind of um, tone my skin when I want to. This is GY1 green yellow one. I don't really necessarily necessarily use this, um, but it can be handy. This is a great eyeshadow and sometimes it helps with yellow. So this is my Saint Demi palette. First, what I'm going to do is I actually like to do my Saint 3D makeup first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick application with the 3D brush. So the 3D brush is dual sided. So you got the pointy side and then you got this side. I'm going to wipe it off on my rag here. I have prepped my face with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. I love it. And then I sprayed my sponge with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Ultra Matte Primer. I don't like to spray it over my makeup because it leaves like this milky, milky stuff on my face. So I'm not adding a lot of color underneath my eyes today. I am filtering the color. Going into my Saint 3D color, this is Sandy. And you'll notice that I do wash this all over my face. So I'm not coming up into that color too much, just maybe a wipe of color. 
On my nose, you'll often see me stipple, and that's because I have larger pores here, and stippling is going to help that color get into those pores. I'm gonna take my dampened sponge, and I'm just gonna tap over this. This is gonna pick up any excess color and push it into the skin. I'm going to go into my Saint Demi palette now. So the colors I am seeing in here, so this one is not too bad, So, but the colors I'm seeing are violet and this yellow is a bit tricky but how this works is you're gonna pick your strongest distraction and you're gonna worry about that one so I might not be able to cover up this yellow and I'm fine with this you're not gonna see this yellow unless you are actually standing close to me all right so I'm taking R1 because I'm actually seeing like it looks yellow to the human eye but it's actually green so I'm just kind of placing it right over the top of that yellow that I'm seeing in tiny, tiny amounts. All right, we filtered out that yellow. Now I don't see any yellow over here, but the yellow is gone. So it's very, very tricky. You thought you were seeing yellow, you were seeing green. I'm here to help you with this. I am a Saint artist. I'm wiping my brush off. Now I'm gonna go into the color Y01. And like I say, if you get this wrong, you're gonna see the color of the color filter and then you know it's wrong. So Y01, just lightly tapping in here and I'm gonna go to, to, to this one and I'm tapping on. A little bit more, so I'm tapping into my Y01 again. This is not concealing, this is just color filtering. Prepping is so important. So my skin is really dry right here. I'll be using powder, we will not be putting concealer over this. I am only worried about filtering out these colors today. So now I'm seeing blue. It's, it, it looks really purple, it's actually blue. So now I'm gonna go into 03. This is a little bit of blueness, but I'm actually, well, let me just filter this real quick. I'm gonna use 01 for this one. I cannot do anything about the swelling still in my tear drops, and the reason why this, this swelled, my Botox, because what I actually did is I put Botox underneath my eyes, and caused it to swell just because I have recent tear drop filler within the last six weeks. All right, this is looking pretty good. I'm still seeing just a teeny, teeny bit of uh, blue. Top. So I'm just filtering out the excess so that when you look at me, you're not seeing these bruises. But I'm also not adding texture underneath my eyes. All right, so this is it for the filtering. I'm afraid to add any more because it's going to add excess texture. So really simple, just a few colors, and I have neutralized the excess pigment in my skin. For our forehead, we're going to dip into our contour and we are going to do a windshield wiper motion. This is the Saint 3D brush. I actually prefer this one. And then we're gonna start stippling it up into our hairline. So you're just gonna stipple it. Careful not to get your blonde all dirty. Switching to our detail brush, you're gonna fill your cheekbone, okay? So right here where the, the top of the ear connects to the face is generally where you're gonna put your contour, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stipple so that you don't over blend your contour. So stipple, and then we're going to blend up. You don't wanna blend down, otherwise you're gonna make yourself look like you have a beard, and you don't wanna over blend this, otherwise you're gonna lose all of your color. Now, for your nose, if you like to do your nose, you can do your nose with this brush as well. You'll just uh, put your contour on the side of your brush. You're gonna be on top of your nose. I do not contour my nose. It looks muddy and I have enlarged pores right here, so I just don't do it. All right, for our jaw, dipping back into our contour. Back and forth motions behind the ear. And then we're gonna go ahead and drag it down. Blend any edges, going to bronze. So I actually have an illuminator in my palette as well. This is the Glow Illuminator Highlight. Um, it's actually very beautiful to mix with the Bella Bronzer. So I'm just gonna tap into both with my 3D brush. So I'm gonna stipple this on in a C. Add as much or as little as you want. Very beautiful. I like to go up the sides of my nose, across the top. All right, so just with the bronzer only, I'm just taking it down the sides of my neck. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airless 
airbrush, flawless setting spray. Let that dry. All right, now that that has dried down, I'm gonna go ahead and powder with my Laura Mercier powder. Taking care to avoid my eyes, but what happens is I take the blush and bronze brush and I go with the big fluffy side and I put some of that powder in my cap. Tap off the excess, tap off the excess on my hand. Taking care to miss that eye area because I don't need to add texture. Now that most of that powder's off, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the results. All right, guys, here you go for color filtering. It is, it's hard, but it's simple once you understand and I can help you pick your color filtering products. I will link everything down in the description box. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and until next video, guys, bye. Thanks for watching.